I say, oh hell, let's go for broke. There's a shiny gold thing down there. Is that for real? This is a Mi'kmaq relic. The face is pointing at Old Island. He's just given us more questions. Keep going till you get an answer. Hello fellow treasure hunters, welcome back. Although my conquest for the truth has taken me on a trip across the oceans to England, I departed with hope that the brothers would continue the eager hunt for gold. All the while the pit has been continuing with its old tricks of financially buckling those who attempt to unravel its protected secrets. I have always been willing to turn back if I reach a dead end, but alas, it seems the brothers may be revealing why you should follow instincts rather than clues. They have over recent days, got closer to the truth of Oak Island than anyone has since its construction. The brothers may have been reaching for the bottom of their money reserves, but that money has allowed them to reach the bottom of the pit. During the latest episode of The Curse of Oak Island, divers have successfully descended into a borehole in the money pit called C1 to thoroughly inspect a large cavity 175 feet below the surface. Last season, Rick and Charles Barkhouse spotted on camera what appeared to be a golden, metallic object in the first small borehole that was drilled down into the cavity, and they want to know what it was that they saw. John Chatterton was the first diver but poor visibility meant he was unable to find anything. Mike Huntley was next up, he took a metal detector with him. This is where things become interesting, the team became excited when he received three very promising golden hits. The first hit he was able to find, and he told the team that the object appeared to be a big smooth piece of metal but he couldn't dislodge whatever it was. Did Mike Huntley just lay his hands on the most elusive treasure in human history? Does the island contain Templar or pirate treasure I will let you know as soon as they release any more information on the find.